Hey everybody, welcome to the top 10 male American oh. Idol this week. Woo. I know, good yeah. show. So Randy, Paula, and the king of all media, Simon, are back. You can tell that uh, Ryan. he got a little reaming there for uh, not, ignoring Simon yeah, last not week. Not thanking Simon at the end of the shows. You can't not do cool. that. Not cool. Not cool. So, this week it's classics from the 70s. Oh. And the question... Are they just going like 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s? I don't could know. be. The question that everybody wants to know is, America would be surprised to know... Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> So, so up next, uh, bleh, up first was Michael Johns. And his little secret is that he likes to play tennis. Just like every other Australian. I know. It seems like, I don't know. Mark Philippousis. And others. <laughs> okay, so he sang Go Your Own Way. Mm -hmm. I thought it was good. But I thought it was too. The parts that were like quiet seemed to be a little muddy though. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether that was due to him or whether the pe the person that's mixing the sound over there is like mm -hmm. not doing their job right. Yeah, they keep sounding overpowered, all the singers by the band. I yeah, don't know. I think that they got some technical problems that they probably need to work out. But he has like this thing that he does, that little goat kind of thing. It's very subtle. It's not attractive not really. all the time. But <laughs> sometimes it's kind of like annoying. Stop. Yeah. Okay, so up next was Jason Castro, one of our favorites. Yeah. And his little secret is that he, he hates... hates doing interviews. Right. And taking pictures. He thought it was just going to be all singing. Right. No. So he decided to <laughs> Publicity. hide... Publicity! He decided to hide behind his guitar again this week, because he's kind of shy. Yeah. And he sang, I Just Want to Be Your Everything, an Andy Gibbs song. And, uh... Unfortunately, he wasn't as good as last week, I don't think. I agree. I still love his voice. Like, the I tone. love his whole it's personality. It's just very like, easygoing and yes. relaxed. It's kind of like Jack Johnson, right? but different. <laughs> <laughs> exactly the same, yet different. Yeah. So, but it wasn't as good as last week. No. I don't know if that song was the best choice for no. him. I don't know. Luke Menard was up next. Yep. And, and he revealed yes. for the last six years. Tell us, tell us. <laughs> he's been a member of an a cappella singing group. He's been on the Ooh. road for six years. Yeah. What? So he sang Killer Queen. Love by it. Queen. Love, Love that song. song. Oh my gosh. I thought it was a good choice for him because he kind of has a voice that could kind of sound like Freddie if he had a little more power yeah. and charisma. His voice is like high but it's like weak it's weak it's like weird it's hollow <laughs> i can't describe yeah. it i think he needs a I little thought more it, it sounded a little bit like like whiny -ish. yeah i don't know i thought it was good except for some of the yeah a couple of notes sounded like <gasps> yeah <laughs> also another thing with him he just stood there Freddie Mercury. He didn't really worked the crowd. Yeah. He wasn't he, working that microphone stand need, like Freddie would. No. He needs to work the crowd a little bit more. Yeah. You do it best. I don't have a stick. <laughs> I know. If she did, boy, you better watch out. Yeah. Radio Gaga. Yeah. Up next, Robbie Carrico. Mm hmm. Uh, no bandana tonight. No. I was, it was pleasantly very nice. surprised. He does have hair under there. It's nice. It, it's good to not look like Kid Rock. I know. So his dirty little secret is that he likes to drag race cars. Mm. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so he sang Hot Blooded. I thought I, it was good. I thought it was good, but you know what? He doesn't know how to work the crowd either. So that seems to be a problem this season. Especially if you're going to be a rocker. You've got to have the whole crowd right here. Randy Otherwise it doesn't and work. Simon are still not convinced that he is a rocker. I'm not convinced either to and tell you like, the truth. And he's like, why do I need to prove myself? Because Ryan needs to ask so many questions. <laughs> I'm really not liking the whole Ryan asking questions thing. Ryan's weird. Did you see on the red carpet at are the you Oscars? Gonna breastfeed? He asked Jessica Alba. <laughs> yeah. Up next, Dor Danny Noriega. Donny Noriega. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, his dirty little secret is that he had a cheap punk rock band in the ninth grade. And they showed some pictures, and wow. <laughs> I thought he was a superstar because yeah. he sang superstar <laughs> and he was great mm -hmm. i really enjoyed his performance i think I he's getting better and again better. i've heard him sing like a few times and i'm still like what yeah it doesn't sound like it would look like it says i don't know how to no. you know what i mean 
it's surprising that it's coming out of him. Let's yeah. put it that way. He's just like a skinny little kid. Yeah, and he's got a powerful voice. And he knows how to use it. Yes, he does. <laughs> so David Hernandez was up next. And yep. I really didn't like him from last week. You know? I, he seemed kind of blank. I was just like, eh. You know, yeah. neither here nor there. Well, this week we found out that he has taken gymnastics, like, all his life. Yeah. As a little kid and stuff, he won, like, medals at, like... Junior Olympics and stuff. No, it wasn't like Junior. It was like Grand Canyon or something. Oh, I don't Grand know. Canyon Olympics? Okay. I think so. <laughs> so he sang Papa Was a Rolling Stone. Which I was like, whoa, dance war. We just heard that a couple weeks like ago. Like five times in the same show. I know. <laughs> so I don't really like that song. But he rocked it. He did. I have to give him some props. He's got because he was really good. So up next, Jason Yeager. They didn't show his son this week. I was No hair helmet. He was probably back in school. Maybe. So, his dirty little secret is that he plays piano and guitar and drums. All self-taught. Yes. It's pretty good for self, though. He sang a Doobie Brothers song. Yeah. And it was Long Train Running. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a good choice for, because he kind of sounded like the guy from the Doobie Brothers a little bit. But the quality of his it voice. didn't really showcase the range of his That's voice. That's what Paula said, but, you know, I thought everybody was having a good time in the audience. Yeah, and... but, like, this is a singing competition. It's not a work the crowd competition. Actually, Even though it, it, I know It's it a popularity is, contest. But, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, I thought he was good, though, but they weren't so thrilled They weren't happy about it. Shakizi Easy up next. Yeah. And we come to find out that his dirty little secret is that his name is not pronounced Shakizi Easy. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't know how don't, to say it. It was like it's really bad. Shakizi or yeah. you know, and it's Nigerian, mm -hmm. and it means something well created by God. Nice. That's a cool name. So I guess his whole life he's. Um, just dealt with people calling him Chikizi because That's like the first day of school. Yeah. Telling the teachers it's not Madeline. Right. It's Maddie. <laughs> and yet they continue to call you Madeline. I swear. Oh my god. I'm not going there. <laughs> Alright. There's this one teacher who just is oblivious. But anyway. <laughs> not surprising. He sang a Donny Hathaway song, and I searched and searched for what the title of it was, and I don't know, so if somebody, some poor soul knows what it is, just please put it in the comments, and we would appreciate it forever and ever. Yeah. But he did do a great job. Mm -hmm. I'll give him that much. It was a step up from last week, for sure. It was like night and day from last week, because I had him in our bottom two last week, so he's yeah. definitely near the top this week. So next up, David Cook. I love this guy. I love him even more now, finding out his secret. He's a word nerd. Oh my god, me too. <laughs> he loves to do crossword puzzles. He's got an extensive vocabulary. I know. And he sang All Right Now. Mm -hmm. And he played his guitar. And nice. he had the crowd right here. Or in his back pocket. Either way. <laughs> but... I thought he was so comfortable up on the stage. I do too. And he was really in his element, and Simon was like... I thought your montage was boring. Why do you like words? Simon! Ugh. Women don't like that. Guess what? Well, I was like, they women do. love smart guys. <laughs> Actually, women really love dopes. <laughs> but these no. two women love David Cook. So yeah, keep on rocking in the free world, David Cook. Last <laughs> up, David Archuleta. Yep. Finishing the show. Yes. And His secret was that he got to meet the first season finalists. Wow. And he sang for them. And Kelly Clarkson totally almost she was like, knocked him <gasps> over. <laughs> like twice. And then Justin Guarini was like, get over here. I'd be yeah. like, Justin, go away. Kelly. I know. <laughs> he got to sing for them. Yeah. And tonight he sang Imagine by John oh, Lennon. Oh my gosh, I love that song. When they said they were, he was going to sing that, I was like, oh man, why did he pick that you know, song? No, normally I would be like that, but then I was like, come on, this is David Archuleta. I know. I mean, come on. Can he do no wrong? Apparently not. No. <laughs> I had to think no. about the way you worded that. <laughs> well, except for that one little note towards the end, but we'll overlook that. I because was like, whatever. He took this song. And he made it his own. He did. He didn't sing it like John it Lennon would John sing Lennon. it. It wasn't John Lennon. Right. It was David Archuleta. You can do that if you make it your own. Mm -hmm. And you make it work. And it he was made great. it work, designers. Simon was basically like, all right, you won. Yeah. 
I mean, let's convene right now. <laughs> then we won't have to go through this anymore. All right, so tomorrow night, it's going to be the ladies. Top ten. I know. I can't wait to see what they've got in store I with know. their little 70s hits. So till then, much, much love. love.